Get that rosy shake. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I need to get a cup of coffee this morning. Fresh brewed. Give me exciting space age coffee maker over there. And I hope that your day is off to a good start. You know, I always like to laugh. You know, one of the... Uh, I love laughing. I think I have a good sense of humor. Yeah, it's sarcastic sometimes. It's uh, a little cynical, but I love to laugh. And um, I want to try to do more things in the morning that are funny. It's not a funny world right now, right? Strange world, but not not altogether funny. There's a lot of cross currents. There's a lot of uh, unhappiness. A lot of people on the edge about the shape of the world. And I get it. We need to laugh. To it, my friends. I woke up this morning and I'm looking at the uh, news and there's a gal in the UK that got a tattoo. And I'm going to put the link in the story. You can see the uh, little picture in picture here. She wanted to get... She had her mom put her lips, kiss her... Let me put it. <laughs> she had her mom put lipstick on and then kiss her hand, right? So then she could take that to the tattoo artist and say, This is what I want to have on my hand. But she's bitching and complaining when the job's done, then it looks like something that was done with crayons. It's really rough looking. Well, I don't think lips are the easiest thing to put on. But as I'm reading the article and I'm looking at the pictures, I'm like, okay, it's not, it's, you know, wonder why I don't get tattooed. Because the guy might have an off day and I got some gelatinous blob tattoo. <laughs> Let me sit down. I mean, what the hell? It is possible somebody can have an off day, right? So. <laughs> You get up from your tattoo experience, you're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and there really ain't no going back at that point in time. So for those of you who got great tattoos, that's amazing. That's wonderful. I'm happy. So this woman is all very upset that the lips looks like something that was done with uh, crayons. And you know what it reminded me of? Remember a few years ago when they had the art conservators in some of these cathedrals in France or in Spain or whatever? And they brought these people in to do restorations on the paintings, like on the walls of the cathedral and on the ceiling. I paid big money to hire these artists to come in and touch these things up. And the results, in some cases, were absolutely disastrous. <laughs> Look at it over there. See what I'm talking about? It's like, where in the hell was the art on that thing? And everybody's like, Ugh! everybody's utterly appalled. It's like, how could we, how could this happen? Francesco the Great is such a renowned <laughs> And of course, Francesco, the well-paid conservator is like, well, looks okay to me. <laughs> I tell you guys, the world we live in today. Anyway, honey, I hope you have a good resolution on your lips. I was finding myself reading the stories like, why would I want you know, my mom's... Okay. You know. <laughs> no, I mean, I love my mom, but I don't think... Um, there we go. I don't think we... <laughs> have a good day.